Welcome back to Let's Play the Chronicles of Riddick, Escape from Butcher Bay. I'm Burning Dog Face. I'm feeling pretty good about myself right now. I got the last of the, uh, the cigarettes from that guy. I got my... Am I on the sidewall with the dude? Fuck. How are there two of them? I can't kill them, since I can't reach them. But I can take them out. I'll take him out of commission temporarily. And honestly, it's better than I had. Sixteen. Ah, oh, fuck. If I get all the way up to it's twenty. Sucks to be you guys. What? No! If I get all the way to 20, I might just have to uh, retrace my steps off camera. Oh, son of a bitch. Really? It's interesting to play this game because, you know, I previously played Syndicate, which came out in uh, 2012. So I know very well that Starbreeze Studios are very capable of games where you, you know, go loud. Like, if anything, the fact that that game was just a, uh, fairly straightforward shooter was the biggest complaint about it, given that it was... ...based on a, uh, beloved series of strategy games. I looked into it, checked the stats on Origin, and, uh, the last time I played Syndicate was in, was March 13th, 2013. Can I not call the elevator up here? Where'd it go? Stupid moth teasing me?
fucking hell, it's out there. Well, that's it, come to Papa. Oh, really? Okay, how am I gonna do this? If this actually worked, I could, uh... Um, as I was mentioning, the, uh, last time I played Syndicate was in March 13th, 2013. I guess that was when I finished my, uh, Let's Play. And that was, uh, four years ago, as of the Monday of last week. It's remarkable to me how, uh, time flies. Alright, here we go. Jump cut! Do you see that? Their guns are on the ground. Where I knocked them out. But they're still fucking up. Okay, so forget that noise. I'm gonna go through the cargo transport area and get back that way. Oh, right, jump cut. <laughs> Okay, here's Two Tongue. All right, check it out. This is what I got for you. Trade twenty moths for some really special smokes. Give me the special. Hey, may the magic dragon be with you, bro. And also with you, pack of smokes number twenty-three found, and that's just Basilica Interior Detail Ten. Cone puffs. Let's smoke the cone twenty. Warning: smoking makes you pine for air. Something gonna be a ganja joke, but you know. All right, check it out. This is what I got for you. Fifty uh, mods. Okay, good. Forget it. I wasn't gonna go out and get fifty more mods. I just realized that I've been close, so I went after it. Now I gotta get back, even though I gotta work my way past that fucking room again. Ugh. Sorry, Riot Guard. I've already escaped. I guess I'll see you guys on the other side of this jump gun. Having more trouble this time because the uh, Riot Guard is behind this crate. I've been waiting here for a while, but I don't think he's gonna move. I was looking over there. I should be able to get through here. Oh, I didn't even lose a, uh... A bar of, uh, health. Where the fuck am I going? Up. Okay. 
I didn't feel as good as the first time, especially since I had to do it again. But you know, facing your fears is important. Man, that room still feels patently unfair. Again, these guys have amazing reflexes. What are you even aiming at? You can't see me. Oh shit, I didn't start the uh, timer. There we go, that should do it. This whole... This whole stairwell is now pitch black. Ah, oh, damn it. I have been specifically trying to avoid using that phrase, even though this is a game about hiding in the dark. Because it's fucking Richard B. Riddick. No! Oh wait, I'm going down. That's right. Shame Armadero isn't here. I hit him with this thing, then pretend the uh... I don't know about pretend, honestly. Arizoko? Arizoko is on to something there. The trank, the kick from the trank attack does look a whole lot less murderous than the other things. They could have just as easily made it like an animation where you stomp on the guy's fucking neck. Now there is a, uh, a riot guard down there. Humor me. Darn, tried to make that guy dance for us. Weird. That would have been really convenient, you know? Oh well, I got there in the end. Tell you what, you've been a good sport about all this. I don't think I'm ever going to use this elevator again. Just in case I do. Now you're back here in the dark, where I can't see you from the button. And we can just pretend you're, uh... You know, still back there, instead of phasing in and out of existence. Fuck! That was a big explosion. Cost me a damn health point. Oh, right. You must be ready. Oh. Sega told me to wait for you. 
Jagger's gonna try to reach the spaceport. Uh, Riddick should put that package from Jupiter in the cave. Uh, when hell breaks loose, Riddick heads for the spaceport. Yeah, that's what he said. You did a good job, Graham. I didn't think that would work. Fuck. Really? Oh! Oh, God! I hate being around big machinery, I hate it. Could you move this damn cart out of my way? I wasn't crouching, he heard me. Where the hell did you come from? Great. Okay, the Tin Man's over there. I wonder if there's any health left in that uh, med kit over here. I think there was one over here somewhere. I do have at least one refill on me. Hmm. Let's see what happens when I do this. Hold your breath, kids! What's hell without a little fire? Move, move, move! Hmm. 
one hell of a fuse. It's no problem now. Straps active and tightened. Prisoner in place, ready for transport. Just my luck, I was, uh, being stressed around the one riot guard with restraint. Here it is. Matrix mod left a comment that I didn't realize was literal until that last cutscene. The guns used by the, the riot guards are literally three assault rifles mounted onto a rotating uh, chamber. So, oop, I uh, started my own video. I'm looking at my comments here on my phone. Uh, yeah, so the spinning center must have a dead zone in it where you're actually aiming. Which, you know, he says is why I was having so much difficulty hitting small targets like the lights when I was in the riot guard armor. So, uh, how's your day going? <laughs> Fuck. No! My stun gun. I'm just gonna walk. Okay, fine. We'll restart the checkpoint and I'll just beat the shit out of you. You have to do things the hard way. Ah, oh, shit. Skipping. Oh, that looked so good! But it was totally... I was just gonna start punching him, but he happened to, to try and do an attack at the same time, so it was a counter-attack. That looked so good! I was wondering what that light was. That other guy had a shotgun. Shame it wasn't him who stayed behind. You are one creepy motherfucker, Riddick. Let's move quietly around this hole. 
Where's that dead guy? I want to see if his body still has a shotgun on it. Um... I had really, and I mean really, been hoping that the alien art... ...in the, uh... ...in the cutscene, the cutscene, in the, uh, extras menu. Fuck. Was for, uh, pitch black. Oh shit, I guess we're going in the hole. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play The Chronicles of Riddick, Escape from Butcher Bay, when we do just that. Wish me luck. It looks like I'm going to need it. Later!